I discourage uh, directors to talk to me in musical terms uh, because even among musicians, you know, uh, what is forte for me might not be forte for somebody else. I actually had a director once, the orchestra was playing uh, fortissimo, which is very loud. And I came back in and he said, can't they play any louder? And I said, well, they're already playing fortissimo. And he said, tell them to play five tissimo. <laughs> So I, I think I think the uh, the composer is like the final actor in the film, and I always try to encourage a director to talk to me in dramatic terms, the way he would an actor, and, and to instruct me as to the emotional content, like David was saying. Let me see. I, I try to discourage directors from talking to me. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think. Actually, I I you know I grew up making a lot of music. I come from a musical family and. My most cherished times as a musician composer are when I'm speaking with directors and able to interpret their non-musical terms, their emotional terms, and, and actually feel it. And that's when I feel like I'm creating the art, is when I'm reacting to how the drama that they're trying to portray comes through me in these great words, you know, directors are really smart people, you know, learning from them. There was one thing I'd written, it was a six bar phrase with an eight bar melody, and they would kind of go around other. And, uh, and it was a cyclical kind of feeling. And I was hedging towards, I was going from a rather positive place and sort of ending up in a more sad place. I actually went to the D minor chord, the saddest of all keys, <laughs> um, about four bars too early. And then I stayed on that D minor. And here's a guy with no musical terminology, and he just got it. He totally got it. And he said, you know, I think we have a problem here. It feels kind of like a cul-de-sac of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard.